So today I am in the woods of Waltham, Massachusetts to explore the abandoned Walter E. Fernald State School, which is right over there through the woods. I've got to find my way over to the campus of the Fernald State School. I researched it online and it looks a lot like the Westboro State Mental Hospital, which I just explored last week. And I'm kind of hoping this isn't the same exact thing because that would be a little repetitive. Security was wicked cool. Uh, they let me walk around, it was awesome. So I'm hoping if there's security over here, it's good and they don't mind people being there. I don't know if I'm gonna get into any buildings. I, apparently it's easy, but I, I don't know if I wanna keep risking that. And a lot of my friends and family keep telling me to stop going into abandoned buildings because <laughs> they don't want me to like fall through the floor or the ceiling to crash in on me. So the Walter E. Fernald State School was a school for the feeble-minded because back when it was open, that's how they referred to people with mental disabilities. So that's what it is. It was a facility for the feeble-minded and the staff apparently was horrible and it's famous for the fact that they would put trace amounts of radiation in their food, like little tiny amounts to see what the effect of radiation was on a human being. And they thought, well, why not do it to the feeble-minded? Because they won't care. Because back then, that was their mindset. So that's what the Fernald School is famous for, being shitty to their patients and feeding them radiation. So why don't we go cut through the woods and check out this horrific facility? And this is weird. Uh, the spot that I'm in, as you can see, is in the woods. But there's this random toy car right in front of me, in the woods. Like a broken plastic toy car for absolutely no reason. Okay, let's go explore a horrible mental facility. Okay, don't make fun of my sunglasses. They're from the 80s and they're totally awesome. But I think this is another place where you can just drive right up to the campus, pull into the entrance and just drive right in because it looks like people online have done that. But of course, I have to be all sneaky about it. I have to go in through this ass backwards way, through the woods. Apparently it's right there. So let's find out. This is it. Another, oh crap. Car's coming. Look. I think that was a security automobile. It had a logo on the side of the car. It looked like a looked like a regular sedan, but it had a little logo on the side. Crap. I don't think I'm gonna luck out like I did at Westboro, where security just didn't care that I was there. Crap. Still gonna do this. I know from other videos that this is one of the cottages that the patients lived in. Like this was the housing facility, I think. I'm not an expert on this place at all, but from what I remember, that is one of the places where they housed the patients. It's really sad because there's this like creepy, rusted out swing set right there. Feeble-minded children once played over there while being fed radiation. They swung on those swings with bodies full of radiation. So now, I'm on the road, on the main campus. This road has definitely seen better days. It's another gorgeous day, and much like my other videos, I'm gonna complain that the view is gonna be hindered because of the sun. Everything is gonna be all shadowy. But yeah, I think this is, I think this is where they housed the patients. There's a little path right there. Let's just sneak right in.
creepy. This is weird. Like I'm surrounded by these abandoned cottages that people lived in. Oh wow. It's open. Both of them are open. Let's check it out. That was unsettlingly easy. Not much to it in here. Yep. This is an abandoned building. Pretty cool that I got to actually check one out. Oh look, this is sad. It's like old faded construction paper that feeble-minded children once used for arts and crafts before they were fed trace amounts of radiation. We can't forget that. Bathrooms. These look modern. Look at this. Look. This looks very modern. Like those fixtures look very 1990s, 2000s. The tiling. I'll have to re research when this place was closed down. Because I thought this was closed down in like the 70s. It's just a bunch of empty rooms. It's cool to see. But there's nothing particularly interesting yet. These rooms are friggin' tiny. My dorm room at college was way bigger than this. And I had a single at one point. Here's a brighter bathroom. Yeah, I think this place was used recently. This is funny. It's just starting to become fall in Massachusetts right now. And right before this place was abandoned, it was apparently becoming fall then too. Forgotten mural. Sad. We got a blue room, probably for boys. And then we got a pink room, probably for girls because separating gender by colors wasn't a controversial topic back then. We've got some lovely accent border paper. Very, very 80s. I think my mom had this exact wall border in our dining room in like 1988. We got an abandoned kitchen in the abandoned building. Not much cooking going on in here anymore. This is where they prepared the radiation food. Right here. Probably not when this place was used more recently, but right here is where they were preparing lovely meals with a little dash of radiation and a little pinch of other toxic chemicals. I'm sorry I keep mentioning that, that's awful. It's really awful what they did back then, but it happens. I'm glad to know that if I have to go to the bathroom, there are like 50,000 bathrooms in this place. Every room has a bathroom, an abandoned bathroom. More sad, forgotten murals. Patients enjoying music for the last time before abandonment. Okay. Exit. Yes, let's. Here we are, approaching the saddest part of the abandoned Fernald school. The sad and lonely abandoned swing set. That is just a testament to true abandonment. 
Let's breathe a little life back into this swing set. Give it a little bit of purpose as it rots back here at the Fernald School. I'm at an abandoned mental facility swinging on their abandoned swing set. Life goals right here. This place reminds me of what it would look like after a nuclear holocaust. That's what this place reminds me of. Like a nuclear holocaust happened here. No cable TV for the patients of Fernald. Broadcast TV for them only. Uh, check it out. This is classic right here. They don't make these anymore. Does it spin? That's the real question. Yes! It still spins! They don't make these anymore on playgrounds because they're super dangerous. Like kids get stuck underneath there, kids crawl under there, and then another kid will spin it and the kid will get decapitated. This is awesome. I just want to do this all day. Then I'm going to crash into some trees right now. This is the awesome kind of stuff they had at playgrounds in the 80s when I was in elementary school. I don't know why I'm fascinated by this thing. This is my favorite abandoned part of this facility. Okay, enough of this. So I gotta say goodbye to the fun merry-go-round. And I probably got myself a nice case of tetanus by sitting on it. But let's see what else we can find. I haven't even gotten to the actual school part yet, I don't think. This is just the housing part. This is just another place that looks like it would make a really nice college campus. But here it sits, in the middle of Waltham, Massachusetts. I don't know what this building is, but it looks important. And it's been very much taken over by nature. Ooh. Abandon all hope, ye who enter. I oofed in here. Okay, and we got this guy guarding the place, not doing a very good job. Fire that guy. Enter. Well, thank you, Vandals. Thank you for pointing out where I can enter. It says, I pooped in your mom's pants. Okay, this is the door that says, abandon all hope, ye who enter. So I'm gonna abandon all hope. I mean, it's wide open, why not, right? Okay, it wasn't wide open. It's a crack open, but that's, Invitation enough for me. Office. Oh yeah, see this place has been, this place was active recently. I didn't really remember that. I've researched so many abandoned mental hospitals that I forget the story behind each one and I get them all confused. This one has been active as of recently, because look, we got fiscal year 2014. Agency, environmental purchasing, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what that is. It looks like a pointless award that this place got. I don't know what to say about that. Sit down, bitch, and be humble. Now this is the saddest item I've ever seen, and it's sticky, ew. It's a rubber ducky, and it was surrounded by these cobwebs, and it's sticky, ew. Why is it sticky? 
You stay there, sticky rubber duck. Nobody in here better ask me if I'm a religious man. What? Are you a religious man? Oh, are you for God Center? Stop asking me religious questions. Too bad this place is closed because if you wanted to know the three hole punch code, there it is. Yeah, that's, that's comforting. That's comforting to see. Yeah. Daddy's not here, Mrs. Torrance. This is what I'm going to have after being here. Night terrors. And I don't like this hallway. It's got rooms that are wide open and pitch black. I don't want something to move like that. Why is this here? Why are you here? Who sent you? This would be like a cool souvenir to take, but I don't want it to end up like the Tiki Idol on the Brady Bunch that gave them bad luck. So I'm going to let him remain where he was found. We got a binder next to him, an open binder. May 3rd, 2011. It's, it's a whole bunch of personal information on patients. Teresa's mealtime program and information pertaining to her dysphagia includes diet. I shouldn't be reading this. <laughs> I shouldn't be reading this person's personal information. She lived in Cottage 9. So yeah, a lot of privileged information right there, wide open on the floor. And then we have more gross rubber ducks. Why am I touch? Oh, they're sticky. They're also sticky. I'm not kidding. They're sticky. Ick. No, I'm not touching those anymore. I'm not touching those disgusting rubber ducks anymore. Prevent AIDS and STDs. Use one. Good to know. Thank you for that information, mental hospital pamphlet. That's such 80s decor right there. And for some odd reason, we have um, moose. No, it's EpiClean. What is EpiClean? Is that for like contacts or something? I don't know what that is. I don't know why I'm touching it. And an old tiny phone. Why did I have to see this? It's really not that creepy, but it's creepy. Arranged on the floor in front of me, out in this lobby, are instructional index cards featuring body parts. Look, this is disturbing. And it's arranged in this circle like a previous person that explored here wanted me to be creeped out. I come out into the lobby to see this. Arm, thigh, Toes, really prominent Adam's apple, porn stash, and eyebrow. Very informative. I gotta say, if this place really did close down fairly recently, like in the last five years, nature really took over rather quickly because this looks like it's been abandoned for decades. In case of apocalypse, we can go in there. So now I'm at the main campus. I was just at the housing section, which is right over here. And now I'm at the more of the administration section of the school. I gotta say, for a place 
known for abuse. Certainly a very pretty campus. Look at that. I want to go up there. I want to go in that building so bad. Is that a real building or an abandoned building? And everything is wide open. My goodness. Oh, here's where the pool is. I want to see the abandoned empty pool. Yeah, they, they couldn't have been treated that poorly. They got an indoor pool. It's funny. I saw those blue chairs on someone else's video. So those blue chairs have been there for quite a while. Oh, there's the church. I saw that previously, but that's their church. Pretty little gazebo. I want to go to that clock tower building, but it seems very dangerous. That just looks like a shack you want to avoid. I'm really surprised the basketball hoop is still there and that vandals haven't jumped up, grabbed onto that, and yanked it down. Okay, we have another abandoned swing set, but check this out. This is really cool how the vines have grown over the chains of the swing set. I don't know if you can see the vines have wrapped themselves around all the chains on this swing set. That is really cool. Yep, I'm swinging on the abandoned swings again. In case you're wondering, I'm holding the selfie stick in between my legs really uncomfortable. Okay, this is just lame. This is weird. That one lamp is on. The other ones, there are two more back there. And they're not on. That one lamp is on. That does not make any sense. There's a lamp there, and there's a lamp there. They're not on. That one is clearly on. I really want to know the explanation for that, because nothing's on in the buildings. That lamp, that's the ghost lamp. All over the internet, it'll be like, one lamp burns bright, despite the fact that the electricity is turned off at the Fernald School. This one ghost lamp refuses to stay dark. I thought that was a gravestone, but it's not. It's the Charles Malone Memorial Park dedication stone. Yeah. We are at Farrell Hall. Farrell Hall and John Oates. <laughs> that was so lame. I only know this because it says Farrell Hall above the door. See, Farrell Hall. And look, it's open. Imagine that. Every friggin' door in this facility is open. I don't understand that. There's no attempt to secure this place which is great for me, but also very concerning. Shall we? One more, one more building. Because they're all gonna get repetitive, you know that. <coughs> I 
think all the asbestos is getting to me. That's interesting. Fire alarm. Well, I guess that needs to be on in case there's a fire here. Look at all this videotape or audio tape that probably has, oh, it's, it's cassette tape. Lots of cassette tapes. Lots of Beethoven, Latin hits. Val Kilmer in Top Secret. <laughs> I don't even remember a Val Kilmer movie called Top Secret. Boz Skaggs. Anything good? I mean, my, my cassette player still works. Joan Baez. Oh, what's this? Genesis. It's a Genesis. Oh my god. That's friggin' Genesis. I, oh my god, I love Genesis. I'm getting way too excited. Genesis. Why is there a Genesis album in here? There, there it is, Genesis. That's the, that's the cassette. Harry Connick Jr., my mother loves him. This is hilarious. There's like a pile of random retro cassette tapes. Ooh, the mistress for love or money. Who is in that? A bunch of people we've never heard of. A lot of good albums here. Donald Fagan, I love him. It's the Scrooge soundtrack. That is hilarious. Love Scrooge. <gasps> no way, this is the best one ever. Right here on the windowsill, we got the Eurythmics. Why are these in here? The Eurythmics. Sweet dreams are made of this. This is what sweet dreams are made of. If you don't get the reference, then just, there's no hope for you, but awesome. There's a Coke machine. Any Coke in it? Maybe cocaine. Yeah, Coke machine. More DVDs, CDs. What is this? Uh, it's a kid's movie. It's Matilda. Well, since this is a school, I guess they would have DVDs and stuff like that, but. Ghost hunters, help. Well, I'm not a ghost hunter, so I can't help you there. Yeah, so, cash me outside, how about that? That's funny. I said don't go in here. Oh, no, what if I go in there? I've been warned. You go first. Okay. Big Mama's house, what's that? Oh, there's the Donald Fagan tape. Okay. I got to get out of here. That was really cool. See, I love the 80s, so finding a floor littered with 80s tape cassettes, that was the highlight of my day. I just want to see if there's a forgotten Christmas gift in here. Oh, there is. The typical Christmas gift no one wants to get. It sucks. Only it's just one sock. It's bad enough to get socks, but to get one sock. Whoever Secret Santa that was, ought to be ashamed of themselves. Okay. That's it for Farrell Hall. And let us say goodbye to Farrell Hall and its room full of 80s cassette tapes. So this is the Fernald School. I hope I'm giving a different look at this place. I know there's lots of videos out there featuring this place. I wanted to try and explore some different parts of it. Never saw the room full of tape cassettes, so that was cool. There's probably people watching me from those windows right now. I gotta videotape the wild turkeys before they run away. 
turkeys. Turkeys at the Walter E. Fernald School. Those are feeble-minded turkeys. Before I go, I just gotta, ooh, that's fucked up, dude. That is not what you wanna see. What is that? Do I even wanna go up here? Now we have to, if there's disembodied skeletons down there. It's the gym. It's got a trampoline thingy. I wanna go jump on it. Yeah. It's got a really strong echo. It's a video game controller in the gym. Oh, it's a big trampoline. There's fire extinguishers in the basketball hoops. It's really cool. Parquet floor. And there's a green alien. And he's gay. See? I gotta check this out. Had to do that. Okay. Let's get out of here. That had to be checked out though. That was looking cool. The gym, huh? Right? Awesome. What's not awesome? is the headless skeleton on the ground below. Let's, let's run quickly away from that. And yeah. So I just ran out of storage on camera number one, which is usually my cue to leave because it indicates that I've filmed enough footage for the day. This is it from the Walter E. Fernald State School for the Feeble-Minded. That was a bird, I think. Or the bird was also afraid of whatever that was. Okay, yeah, that's more of a cue for me to leave. So that's it, Walter E. Fernald School. You got to see some of the cottages. You got to see some of the administration buildings. You got to see a bunch of 80s tape cassettes, a bunch of crappy DVDs from the 90s and the 2000s. Off to the next adventure. I'm terrible at ending these videos, so bye. Okay, I'm back and I'm applying copious amounts of hand sanitizer because all I keep thinking about are those disgusting, sticky rubber ducks and all the diseases I acquired by touching them. Anyway, I'm back. I'm in my car just to give one last closing commentary on the fact that now that I'm safe back at my car, I can officially say I did not see any evidence of security at that place whatsoever. And I was there for three hours. Besides that one moment when I first arrived and I saw that car drive by, I never saw any other car ever again, but I never saw security vehicles, police vehicles, or any vehicles at all. I saw no evidence whatsoever of security at that place, which is baffling because unlike Westboro Mental Hospital, that place had a lot of stuff inside the buildings and papers and DVDs and all that crap. And every building was open. So I don't know why there was absolutely no security on that entire campus. So that's it. I'm still terrible at ending videos. So this is officially goodbye for the day. Goodbye.